Okay. I just watched one of my favorite movies of all time. I've seen it. I, I don't know how many times I've seen this movie because it, it, it's one of my favorites. I've seen it that many times. It, it's From Dusk to Dawn. Um, it, it was Rodriguez and, and Tarantino, George Clooney. I mean, come on. Three solid. Uh, Hot Harvey Keitel. How can you get any more better than that, right? Um, if you don't know much about the movie, it, it's about um, these two brothers who are, are these bank robbers who, who have killed lots and lots of people, right? And, and they cross paths at this, this seedy motel with the, this pastor and his two kids. And um, one thing leads to another, and all of them are on this, this, this um, RV headed to Mexico, right? Now, Clooney convinces the pastor that they need to stop at this, this, this really crappy uh, uh, strip club that happens to be built on an Aztec temple, and, but they don't know that. And um, they go in for some drinks, and, and they think they're just watching a show, and then Selma Hayek shows up, dancing all sexy in a bikini, and you think, all right, you know, you like this, all of a sudden, bam! She turns into a vampire, and then almost everyone else in the in the bar turns into vampires. And you know, it, it's you're fighting for your life, and it, it's these kids and this pastor who lost his faith and doesn't believe in God, and he's trying to fight off these vampires. And Clooney and his brother, and and all hell breaks loose, and all three random biker guys they're trying to fight too. And it, it's just an amazing movie. It is so good. And um, one thing that a lot of people don't know it. Some of the story credit also went to Robert Kurtzman. He, I mean, this guy, he worked on, on, on Evil Dead, and Army of Darkness, Nightmare on M Street, some, uh, I think, a Hall Halloween and a Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, it, it's, it's crazy how much this guy has done that a lot of people don't know. He's so good. I mean, hell, he's right up 71. I could, I could drive an hour to go see his, his production studio. It is it's amazing and and he's awesome but that's not the point the point is this movie and and how great it is and it's a straight up action flick right it, it came out of the uh, out of the time where Tarantino and Rodriguez Rodriguez they were doing so good and they had like Reservoir Dogs Pop Fiction uh, Desperado all these amazing amazing films and and these two guys work together and, and create such a great horror action film it is so good so good if you haven't seen it go out see it rent it netflix it do something watch this movie yes there's two other sequels i think they're straight to dvd not as good as the first see the first one that's all you really need to see see it that, that's that's all i'm saying now tarantino he he's no rice he's no stoker but they use the same things, uh, vampires and sex. Uh, vampires use sex to to mesmerize, like like uh, Hayek used her sex and her body to to kind of hone in on Clooney and all these other guys and get everyone kind of their attention on her. So when they changed, it was more of a surprise. Bam! So they caught them all off guard. Holy water. Holy water is a huge thing. That, that is used a lot in vampire movies. Holy water and crosses. Now, the, the pastor, Harvey Keitel, who played the pastor, was a guy who lost his faith in God. And once he realized his faith was still there and he still believed, he was able to con concentrate the water and they were able to use it as a weapon. Same with crosses. Um, crosses are, are, are a big part. Um, they... they they were able to to stop these. I mean, at least hold them off so they can kill them in other ways. And and you'll find that all over the vampire stories, anywhere you look. Crosses are a huge, huge way to fend off vampires. Now, without going into much of my background, I think people misunderstood... I think people misunderstand as much as about God as they do about vampires. I mean, that's one of the reasons that they're, 
the two are so intertwined. The anti-God bit goes all the way back to, to Vlad cursing God because someone close to him died. And, and when it comes to the Old Testament God, you just don't, you just don't screw around. Because if, if you think you can push him around, you're in for a huge surprise. I mean, he will screw with you in ways you won't believe. I mean, seriously. Read the book of Job. Take a look at everything God let happen to him because of uh, a bet between him and Satan. Just, just read that, and you'll see. Now, there, there are still some, some things where, that are worth remembering from this flick, but the most important thing that you must remember from this movie, Desto Dawn, is that if you believe in something, anything, no matter how crazy it is, if you can stay the course and, and, and do what has to be done, then you'll live to see the light of day. So, that's all I got. Um... So, until next time.